Hallelujah. So I've been dealing with the subject of favor. It's going to be the last day. Draw a line in your book. One part for what the pastor is saying and the other part for what the Holy Ghost is telling you. Where is Monica? Where is Auntie Monica? Oh, she's writing an exam. As I remember her now, an answer just came. <laughs> Praise God. So, today's topic, how to sustain the covenant of favor. Or rather, how to sustain supernatural favor. Chepstel, you are healed in Jesus' name. Favor, we have defined it with different terms, with different examples, with different life encounters and stories. So it is not new to us for anyone to stand up and tell us what favor is. And remember what I tell you. People will define things based on their own encounters. For example, now if I ask Pastor Victor, what is favor? He will tell you favor is God giving man food when he doesn't have food. Because at the time, he was lacking food and food came. To another person, it can be the opening of marital doors. Because your current need can be the platform for defining certain things that happen in your life. But we all understand what favor is. I've told you that you can call favor mercy. You can also call favor grace. I've also told you that the, the scriptures, the Bible is filled with people that experienced favor. And I'm sure that by Holy Ghost inspired teachings, you saw that there are people that what happened in their life, you didn't know that it was favor they experienced. But while we are teaching, the Holy Ghost began to tell you that. So you now know that what happened to them is favor. We mentioned people like Moses. We mentioned men like Abraham. If I Abraham stood that for me, that a man whose family is reading in ancestral idol worship, God still chose the person out of that place. It goes a long way to tell us that no matter how dark your family ancestry is, if when God shows up, he can pick you out. That's favor. Someone like Rahab, who built her, what you, I don't want to use the word because we're online, her office was on the... You know that place they used to write, Welcome to Kanu. <laughs> That's where she built her office. Do you know what that means? People come to do apprentice there. They come to learn work. And see the Monica just came now. Wow. People come to the top of the... To learn how to do work and then go into the city. But because located that woman, when you are writing the genealogy, you are going to mention Rahab. How will you talk about favor and not talk about how will you talk about favor and not talk about Ruth, the Moabites? Do you know that Moabites were cursed from God? In fact, the man called Balaam was a Moabite, a prophet in Moab, who was contracted to lay a curse on Israel. Because of that singular act, he was banished from the inheritance called Israel. But when we want to talk about Jesus, in fact, she became the great, great grandmother of King David. How do you want to talk about favor and not mention the man called David? That they had forgotten about him. And somehow God just put his name in the mouth, in the mind of the father. And he said, There's a guy in the bill in the, in the bush. Run the story forward. The guy was still a, a victim of mess up. Just like some of us, you will be looking back at your mistakes and you say, I, I can't amount to anything. You are the one who is counting yourself out when God has counted you in. The Bible says in the seasons where kings go to war, a man came out and stood at the gallery and was looking. I think there's a level of poverty that was holding Bathsheba's husband. 
that he couldn't create zinc to cover their bathroom. Because if the guy had money, he would have, he would have roofed it. You can be close to someone who is rich and still be poor. How could your house be close to the king's palace and your bathroom is not roofed? The guy is still messed up with her. And you go to read in Isaiah chapter 55, if you read down verse 6 or 7, he said, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Someone who slept in surgery, he didn't just do that. He, he, are you aware that this is David? Still told him that your throne shall abide forever. Do you know that we can we can call that establishment to the establishment of the throne of the Christ? Because it's only the throne of Jesus that doesn't die forever. That Jesus will come on earth and call himself the son of David. But the guy is an adulterer. So when God counts you in, nobody can count you out. Even if, even if they like, they should put the tag on your clothes. In primary school those days, we will write, I am a fool, on a paper, and put it at the back of someone. Do you know what? They, they, I'm trying to use that to show you the kind of favor David entered. His classmate wrote, I am an adulterer, and put it at the back of David. God still carried the guy and made him king. And established his throne forever. And guess what he told him? He said, you will never lack a son that will sit on the throne and our daughter. Say to yourself, my mistake does not count with God. As long as I am favored. If you understand this, you will understand the spirit of holiness. So many examples. So many examples. You come to the New Testament, someone who was free became the pillar Spoke 3,000 people gave their life to Jesus. They were, they were men of God. What should we do? This guy, they were asking this person, failed to answer an exam that a small girl gave to him. Another guy, they call him Saul of Tarsus. The guy was on his way. He, he, he was describing in Acts 26, he said that a bright sun that was brighter than the glory of the sun. That people were hearing the talking, but they could not see what was talking to him. The mother became a molder. All the scriptures. If you put it everywhere he was, his brain was loading per second. I decree to someone here, if, even though people have mocked you, you're, you are rising up out of that pit in the name of Jesus Christ. So many examples. My life is an example. As I begin to show you what it takes to sustain favor. In this same land, I have begged. In this same land, I have been arrested, locked up. In this same land, I have been despised. Last week, I remember that I was telling you guys, try as much as you can to be part of the meeting. And I told you that I perceived that there, is, there was about to be a shift. How many of you can remember? And exactly how it was. Everybody was there. But you see, when God has favored you, even when you try to switch off your light, your light will refuse to switch off. Because the light is not shining from your fuel. The thing is up. That is when God has become your light himself. According to the book of Revelation and the book of Isaiah 66. Number one, what does it take to sustain favor? One, you must be born again. You, you should not joke with purity. John chapter 3 and verse 3. The scripture was giving us an analysis of a man who came to visit Jesus in the night. He didn't want to identify with coming around, but he showed up and asked. We know God sent you. How can I sustain these things that I see you do? He told him, except a man be born again, he shall not do what? Except a man be born again, he cannot see 
the kingdom of God. That's where favor resides. You must be born again. You must stand in the public and declare that you have given your life to Jesus. You must live a life of righteousness. Psalm chapter 5 and verse 12. He said, with favor, you will surround the righteous like a shield. The person must be righteous. For thou, Lord, will bless who? Not a compromiser. Don't be one person in church and another person outside. It's not easy. It's not easy. But you must make up your mind to stand. Let me tell you the truth. Every one of us sitting down here, we have something that we have left behind in the past. Are you aware that those things have not died? What God did was to separate you from those things so that they cannot reach you. But they are in constant struggle to gain access back into your life. This is the reason you must, on a daily basis, be hinged on Jesus. You cannot afford to be a good person in church and another kind of person outside. Real Christianity is Monday to Sunday, January to December. Not only on Sundays. Can I tell you something? The most wicked people we have in our offices are so-called Michaels and Anastasia or Cynthia's. Why? Why? Why should we have list of most wicked, most stubborn at place of place of work. You want to Christians? Is a human being, and a person is a Christian. It shouldn't be so. Our gathering should be a gathering that brings joy. Are you getting what I'm saying? You go to schools in the south. The lecturers that are disturbing sisters, female students, disturbing male students, they are Christians. Some of them are holding positions in different denominations. But the Bible says, be born again. Is this first Corinthians 5.17? If any man be what? Thank you for forgiving my sins. Thank you for washing me with the blood of Jesus. I am cleansed. I am born again. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new to me. He said, you have not had your members yet. Everybody here, everybody here, you are the first fruit in 10 years' time. Most of you, if you can stay and let's work this thing together, you will be the ones that will be mounting the various units, mounting the various pillars that will come up in this house. So it is my responsibility to teach you where you can't afford to live your life anyhow. You are now the light. People should see you and say, ah, we're not going to see you again because you have shifted. When the real people now come, they will now say, ah, see how these people are honoring their pastor. They will not know where we started. Pastor. They will not know the day that Pastor Victor will come with boots. With, with overgrown hair. That time they will not say all these people that like to worship men. No. If you can stay pure, blessed are the pure in heart. For what? They shall see God. Please, let's welcome my sister, Pastor Faith Douglas. Don't let her sit anywhere else. There is a seat here. Please, ma, come here. Come. Mama, please come. Celebrate her now. Bro, Pastor Courage, please come forward. There's a seat here. Are you getting what I'm saying? Be pure. Stay pure. It's possible. It's possible not to double date. It is possible not to gossip. It is possible to tell yourself, I will not watch certain kinds of movies. Let me tell you something about appetite. If you starve those appetites, a day will come, you will look for it, you won't see it again. It, it would have died naturally. 
the Holy Ghost would have helped you to mortify it. It won't be there again. Something has, has caged your appetite and has taken it, has besieged it. It's the Holy Ghost. It is, it is possible to be pure. Okomo, it's possible. If God can help me, one day I went to preach in front of the hotel I used to go to visit some years ago. And I saw some of my friends and they were looking at me like this. They were wondering if I was the one or I was not. They saw how that it is possible to be with Jesus and be fresh. You may not have had everything, but you are not where you used to be. How many of you are around when mama was sharing her testimony? Went back home, packed her bottles. Who told you that that appetite cannot be swallowed up by Jesus? You are the one who is still holding to it. That relationship, you know it is killing you and you are still holding to it. Tonight, you are receiving freedom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout another amen. amen. Number two. To receive favor, you must give favor. If you must receive favor, you must give favor. Learn to be a person that gives others favor. You want God to do something for you, find somebody who needs it to and give to them at your level. You may not give people a lift, but you can pay people's transport. You may not buy a boutique for people, but you can give people clothes. What are you saying? Some of you have clothes that you are not using anymore. Who is wearing it in the cup of cockroaches? Those things we amount to the things that God will use to judge you. Are you aware? The shoe don't tie to you. You are even walking somewhere. Give it out. And see if God will not say. Can I tell you something? There is nothing I cannot give. Except my wife and my children. Something happened some time ago. I guess, was it last December or two years ago? Somebody just called us and gave us, if you see the chicken, heavy, heavy chicken. Immediately they brought it and said, they said they should give it to you. I said, baby, let's show it to Susan. She said, eh? That's the life, oh. You will look and think that we, the, these, these people they are enjoying. There is nothing we cannot give because we know that the moment it is living, God abhors vacuum. The moment he sees space, he must fill it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Gave out a suit, another one came. Sometimes I will get angry with God. One day I, 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 I sat and I said, Father, these, these blazers I gave out have just betrayed me and wept. If you go by men, you will not do certain The back staff, physically, they pay me for back. I'm talking about giving someone... Is it, this is the reason why someone... Someone will come around you and tell you, I want you to be my spiritual father. I, I go back. The pain. Pray for your pastors. The pain. The pain. I can be talking to you and you just say, Daddy, I will just off. Because when you are saying it, it's, it's taking me back. There's a flashback. Not that we had plenty blazers. I just took it as a This young man, because of the of his sacrifices, let's give this guy this thing. Not one, not twice. In fact, the second one took it, took someone. Oh my god, oh my god. There was a particular shoe they brought from Mama. I said I should come down. But let me let me just share with you so that you can learn. Brought a pack of footwear. From, from outside the country, brought it, and gave, brought it to the house. I just called the brother. I said, come, 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 come. Take. 
the man just sparked the thing and wheezed and was saying things in town. Listen, let me tell you. When you give to those who kill you behind, God is bringing men who will honor you. I share this story to tell you, those of you who feel that, oh boy, my mind is locked up. Man will never change his wiring. Man doesn't have what it takes to change his wiring. He has been wired never to be loyal. Except a spirit has walked on his being. So, what you just heard now is to tell you that no matter what people are made up of, still give. Because you are expecting something from God. To receive favor, you must give you need clothes, give clothes. You need money, give money. And you know something about God? He will never return what you gave. When it comes back to you, it comes back hybrid. Good measures. Press down. Shaking together. It can never come back to you. What you gave can never come back to you. Because you can't plant corn and reap one seed of corn. No. If you must reap favor, you must do what? Give favor. Are you get what I'm saying? Learn to give. Be a giver. Don't tie your hand on all things. Use material things to test you. The moment he takes checks and sees that, okay, we have crossed this level of materialism, he will now come to the things that you love. Maybe you, you, you are a pastor. You are expecting that if you come to a particular place, they will say, um, let's, let's rise up and welcome Pastor Steve. You just, just be there. Seated down here are people, singers, writers, speakers. Some people are media gurus. Where is Wizzy? Is that Dockers here? Is the Dockers here? Oh, wow. It's good to see you. How are you doing? You, 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 your time has not come. Your lifting just got started in the name of Jesus. Be seated. Do you know people have capacities until they tell you who you are. You can be sitting down with someone who knows how to handle some media stuff and you will not even know. Learn to give away material things. Learn to give away your positions. I hope I will be able to finish this talk tonight. Number three, be consistent when you sow. Be consistent when you sow. It's not just about giving. Give consistently. He who sows consistently will reap consistently. There's a challenge of sowing and a challenge of consistency that will use two minutes of trash. Sowing is not money. Else shall die. When you say so, 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 some, somebody is, is thinking of his account number. In those days, they didn't have money. What they used was yam, chicken, and some other stuff. Like our parents, what some of them would give out their all these very expensive laces and stuff like that. When they say so, it can be anything. Your time. In fact, number one is your heart. Your resources is useless if your heart is not in it. I told someone, I said, if I can't see you in church, anything you are sending to the house, we will send it back to you. Jesus wants you first before your resources. So as you are sowing, the first thing you should sow is yourself and be consistent about it. Your time, your ideas. Some of you will look around and say, Pastor can or the, the executives can do this and this and that to make things work this way. Your ideas, you are sowing your idea into it. You are also sowing your voice into it. This is, this is an assistant music director in his church. Music director or assistant. Music director. You saw your time. You could have been anywhere. Sow your resources. Sow things but be consistent about it. Anything you do and stop and restart it is useless. 
Because you need to be consistent. It's called faithfulness. It's called what? Faithfulness. Be consistent. You are praying. Be consistent. Remember that you are also sowing prayers. Money comes last. Number four. Be patient. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Be patient. I heard the testimony of Bro Richard and I was moved. Anything that will last, see you. Anything that will last, where's, where's Jeff Stead? Anything that will last must be built with patience. Anything that is rushed will cross. Be patient. God is not in a hurry. He's not impressing anybody. He's taking time with you. I want to marry. I want to marry. If you marry, what next? I want to get a car. I want to get a car. When you get the car, what next? I want to build the house. I want to build the house. When you are done building the house, is this shrine you will build next? Be patient. Let me show you something. Luke 2 52. And oh my God, show me the version that says, and the child grew. That's a more, that's a more descriptive way to show you that the favor was there, but it was growing. This one you are testifying now is a level. Another one, a layer will be added. That's why you have to be consistent. If you can say, ah, oh boy, I enjoy this favor. I, there is a greater level of favor. The kind of one that around 2 a.m., you will see foreign number calling you. You will think that is done. On Tuesday, another one will call. Wednesday, another one will call. You know what Apostle Selma said? Apostle Selma said, every day he wakes up. He wakes up to favor from different human beings. Every day. That's another level. But you have to be patient. Oh my God. I need that version that says, and the child grew. I wanted to go there and cycle the word grew. It's a level. You are done with NYSC. Be patient. Do we grow? It is a lack of impatience that has made people to fall into diverse kind of vices. Be patient. Tell yourself, be patient. Call yourself and say, be patient. Stephen, be patient. This work we grow, be patient. I know you have your classmates that you are using to lay standards for yourself. Be patient. I've called my dear sister, Chester. I said, be patient. Don't rush. There is nothing you see in a human being that God cannot do for you if you can be patient. Pastor. Yes. Be patient. The child, the Bible said, is the son of God, though, but the Bible said the child grew. The, the favor level was on a, on a level. It grew to the next. It grew to the next. It grew to the next. We started with teaching teenage class. From teaching teenage class, we now started... No, I started by begging people to give me five minutes to sing. If I tell you some things, you'll be shocked. Where we are doing Sakama retreat, there was a Christmas, they were doing Christmas carol. I wrote some fake song. And went to go and beg the music director. I said, sir, I have a song. I want to sing to the Lord. Please give me only five minutes. He said he's sorry that they have done the roast, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The, they've drawn the program and that there is no space. I said, sir, please. Why people were in the church, they were... And guess what? The happening guys of Kano those days, seven to heaven, the meek and one and the rest of them, they were there. Meanwhile, the man of God is by the side of the door, rehearsing. I don't beg. May they give me a chance. That same place, ten years later, we are holding one of the biggest retreats in Kano. Be patient. From there, we started teaching teenage class. Be patient. From there, we started to going to go and um, do prayers in BUK.
We used to have choir members those days. When I joined the choir, I didn't know anything about music. Nothing. Even till now, it's not like I know anything about music. By now, to do scale. <laughs> there's blue scale, there's Arabian scale. I joined choir one day, my brother. I was singing. They asked to shut up. In fact, when I joined, they asked me to... I was wearing the uniform, but just that the blue was almost turning brown. The black was... You know, the, where the ghetto was, there was a mixture of brown and black. My shoe, the sole, the gum holding it was almost giving up. They asked me to go. I, I cried that day. This house should go to the back. I still stayed. A time came in Kano. I joined the Potter's house. You want to mention four tenor singers in Kano? I was among them. You want to sing a song and you needed tenor singer. Look at him. He's, he's a member of, of, the, of, of that singing group. He's just a prayer and shifted the voice. Praise God. Be patient. You are the one who wants to measure up. God is not interested in impressing anybody. As you are in his time, he will do you according to his own time. But if you are not interested, there is a way out. You will join the devil. Then what the devil will do is to take what you have in your future and give you now. When it is exhausted, your time is up. Satan does not have anything to give you. What he does is to bring to the present what you are supposed to enjoy then. Because what God does is, is he builds stability and stamina for you to ride to where you are. When you get there, it will now be a miracle and a breakthrough that will bring people to God. But most people don't want to. That's why somebody and his friends can go and get a lady and be stabbing her because they want money. Somebody tell yourself, be patient. Put your hand on your chest and say, be patient. You are, you are in a hurry. Be patient. Favor follows the patient. You are not saying it. Be patient. Number, number what now? Number five. Be financially prudent. <laughs> be financially prudent. I want you to pass this paper around. If you have a phone, you can snap it. You cannot be expecting God to bless you financially and you are not wise. Have a structure for your finances as it comes in. Know what goes in and what goes out. In 2016, we drew a chart. Back then, I think I had like three accounts. Where we were putting one. The only disadvantage with the banking system now is that if you put 5,000, when you look into it, you will see 4,958 naira. I was telling Mama yesterday, I said, it is because there is no institution to report to. That's why people are doing anything anyhow. You should be able to put your money and still see the same money there. They will remove that one. At the end of the month, they will still charge you SMS charges and whatever charges. When you look at that structure, then you can see how to structure your finances. God cannot favor a waster. No. My wife is a witness. We are doing business. We get snacks and we resell. We do more and more. I ask her, what did you sell today? What's your... What, where is your... Bring out your capital. Where is the profit? What did you use it for? Because anything that is done without accountability will suffer loss. If you want God to favor you, have the mindset of financial what accountability. Don't, don't be wasting and be throwing it in anyhow. It will come back. For example, if you look at that very stuff, no matter how small your salary is, we broke it down into percentages. 10% for your tithe, 5% for the less privileged or anybody who you want to bless that day. So, or 20% for your house rent if you are, if you are staying alone to build or save money for your house rent. The other one, 10%. The other one, 40%. The other one, 2%.
at the end of the day, you have 100%. Every money is accounted for. I really wished we had typed, okay, I'm going to do something. Next week, Sunday, we'll prepare it and then we, 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 we bring it, share it for everybody. You have to be financially accountable. You should not run HOB Sartorial as if you are not expecting to leave the, that, for that business to be alive in the next 50 years. Chef Stella, you hear what I'm saying? Don't be in a hurry to be in the trend now. That money you want to use to do trend now, save it. Or use it to boost your business. I saw a particular sewing machine that is not like the one you have now. It's an advanced one. You can save up and buy that one and do your business faster. Somebody is baking here. There is another kind of oven that is traditional. You can save up and buy it than buy a wig of 250. How many people have come and meet you and say, I, I like your head because of the wig you are, you are wearing? Bishop said, I'm wearing white. You don't know if it is the old one or the new one. It's still white. If I wear this clothes next week, it's my body. It's not your body. Somebody with a drink gary gets planned. Be what? Financially. Listen, let me tell you. No matter the tongues you are speaking, if you are not wise financially, you will suffer. You will beg. Have you not read the scripture? I said, how did you even put it? I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Is that thing happening now or not? Oh, come on, talk to Is it happening now or not? Because if you read that same scripture, there is a place where the Bible was talking about avoiding wastage. So when the righteous engages waste, the righteous will be forsaken and his seed will do what? Beg bread. Even if it is, who is, who is receiving 10,000 salary where you are working? Oh, eight, how much? Ten, who is receiving 8,000 naira? Even with that 10,000 naira, God can make you rich. I wish that stuff should get to you. Snap it. When God sees that you are faithful with one, what will he do? It will multiply the remaining. It will add more. Let me rush. Be financially number what now? Engage priesthood. Learn to pray. Learn to pray. As we finish now, Pastor Michael come up. Favor does not come just like that. You have to call it. I have taught you times with that number the power of calling those things that are not as though Call it. If you don't call favor, it, not, it doesn't come. Everything you see on this element called earth has a name. Nothing is dead. Nothing is dead. Nothing. No stone is dead. He said, if these people will not praise me, I'll, these stones will do what? Nothing is dead. But when you engage priesthood, you can call things. What you don't have is because you have not called it. Accurate priesthood. You want people to get involved in your life. Call them. Father, place something upon my life that will cause men to begin to locate me, to look for me. I call all the men that, that need tailors to come to me. I call every man to look for me. There is an anointing in my life. If there is nobody to, to worship, my, my assignment is useless. Churches, open up to me in Kano. Nigeria, your guests are thrown a jar for my sake. Lagos opens up to me. Abuja opens up. Those of you in mass communication, are you aware that with priesthood and with, with intelligence, with your, with your seriousness in your academics, you can attract the attention of channels and work with them. Even BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera. That your life becomes an example of what God can do with a man who puts his trust in him. Priesthood. Priesthood.
priesthood. Father, everyone that is meant to fill this house, nothing will stop them. We call them forth. That's how to pray. That's how to pray. Number what now? Number seven. Give to people on the higher level of what you are looking for. Are you following me? Anything you are looking for. For example, Tom, come. You are an architect. And you find out that there is somebody, emoji come, in the church, in the evening church, that has the same feed with you. He's an architect. But he, he's, he's receiving contract. Listen carefully to this example. He's always receiving contract. But you are just there. It doesn't call for envy. What do you do? No matter how small the seed is. Sir, I love what God is doing in your life. Please, I know it is small. Take. And pray for me. Meet and leave contract. Jokingly. Say, talk. God, God, one. Listen, let me tell you. You are not giving to him. You are giving and connecting to the fountain that is in his life. When you understand this thing, jealousy will die. Graces are transferable. Anything you don't have is, in a, is available in another person. Find the person. You are a tailor. You are a, you are a caterer. You, 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 you do snack business. You do anything you are doing. You sell perfume. There is somebody who is doing that business on a higher scale. Look for that person. Even if the person is online. Tell the person, sir, ma, I receive an instruction to sow into your life. I remember the person must not be a Christian. Hajia, I just want to give you this 2,000 era. I love the way your business is going. Dala Hajia, Kemun Adwa. See, this thing, eh? <laughs> Was Mechizedek a Christian? Eh? Answer me now. Anything that is not available in your life is in somebody's life. Find them. And plug into them. When you come to church, look at people, see what God is doing in their life. Even if you don't have finance, celebrate you, sir. Celebrate you, man. I love the way your fervency is in church. Your life is a blessing to me. Your life is an inspiration to me. Tomorrow, somebody will come and tell you the same thing. Then you will not remember that life is a cycle. Please return to your seat. Did, did you get this thing I just shared now? You are a singer. Learn to bless people, even if the person is in the same choir with you. After the person does worship, write a note. God, Baba, you bless me. You finish me. This oil, God go, God go multiply. Him. Just put from dead and cease to be your sister. No way she is now a mother. Even though two of you are age mates. Because she is your sister until the grace comes. Assume everybody is on the same level. That's why people cannot be blessed. Oil flows on a gradient. It doesn't flow like this. It has to go down. The sun. The sun when the person has shifted. Not when the person has shifted. And now I call the person that honor. And you know what? When you give that person that honor, the thing will flow. But you know what happens in our times? As we're all sitting on the chair, on the same row, we are together. No. 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 This deep mystery. If you understand it, you are on a high level for favor. Somebody pray in tongues for two seconds. Speak. Please sit down. Number what now? Quickly. Oh my God. Be creative. I will spend time next week while starting a new series. Brought out by fire. Be creative. Supernatural ideas. Listen, I was telling us something. How could you have slept or sit? I don't know how you did 
and you saw a pattern. Ideas. If I ask mama now, how do you get your songs? There is, oh my God, you need to write this down. There is what we call divine inspiration. It can come in form of pictures or moving images. To you, you will think you are thinking. Let me tell you, a born again Christian is an extraordinary man. His thoughts are divine. His thoughts, you will just think that I am, I am thinking I'm in the market and I'm searching the third shelf and I saw a, a shoe that I have not sold. And I'll be looking for that shoe. I just pray that that's where the shoe is. And you will go to the shop, search third, third shelf, open the last shoe and still see the shoe there. A born again Christian's mind is divine. Oh, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and of power. And what? Do you know what? There's no time. You think at God's frequency. You think at God's frequency. If today God flashes Akara, if you start it, it's, a, it's an executive business. If God flashes it and you see yourself doing it on the road, bro, just do it. It may be rough, but after six months, it will look like charm. Because it came, there was a cast. Don't think that God wastes thoughts on your mind. When he wants to leave you, what he will do is like, when you are pouring water on the ground, he will just pour it. The water will just enter the ground. That's how your mind is before God. Ideas. Be creative. That's how God controls favor. By releasing creative ideas on minds. Oh my God. Number what now? Behave well because someone is watching you. Good character. Don't assume that, okay, we know the church. We're in the street. You, you will be talking and be using the slangs. You may not be using the slangs. What about your, your profile picture? What about the things you see online? Somebody is watching you. On Instagram, did it, has the person ever chatted you until that day? People are watching you. Somebody came and told me, said, truly God called you. I have been watching you since 2016. I have a woman in the US. She's, she has been my friend. I entered Facebook 2013, March. She has been there. She has not been saying anything up until this year. She now said, I've watched your consistency. People are watching you. They don't need to comment. They don't need to come to church for your program, but they are watching you. One day they will just show up. Truly God called you. You want favor? Behave well. The scripture said concerning David, and David behaved himself more don't say uh, for our family we they talk our mind. Ah, no talk your mind though because you can talk your mind and be poor forever. You know what the Bible said concerning a fool? He said a fool altered all his mind. Some things just look and laugh. I've I have had enemies without my knowledge. If one of them told me, he said, one thing I hate about you is that nobody knows what is in your mind. And I guess some of the people who are around, they know. You've just been messing up. I know what you are doing. I'll just be laughing. I'll even give you the highest handshake. And just laugh with you. Because I know what, will, what is going to happen to you. If you keep telling people what is in your mind, you won't, you won't be able to trap them. Behave well. Obey every instruction. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 9 to 11, concerning Saul and Agag. God told him to kill everybody. The man refused to kill Agag. Later in the book of Esther, that Agag became the ancestor of Haman that wanted to annihilate all the Jews. Anything you refuse to obey now is a problem for you in the future. And it can swallow up your favor. Obey instructions. God has told you. 
package that seed sow it gather those clothes give it out and you are dead do you know that when god is giving you that instruction he has moved though he is not that he's he's not that he's that time he has looked for the way to bring you up he's okay let's give him this instruction meanwhile you are refusing or not to you you are the one holding yourself instructions number what now somebody talk to me number what be humble there is what I call Nebuchadnezzar syndrome. Daniel chapter 5 and verse 20. Be humble. I have taught us in this house. Be humble, but don't stop talking. Be humble, but don't stop talking. There is nothing as dangerous as an unassuming anointed man. You will just come and sit down. Unannounced. When an opportunity is given to him or her, people will wonder, is this not the son of Joseph the carpenter? Be humble. Anything that will make you to raise your shoulder should die. No proud man has an inheritance of favor. They call you to do something, run to do it. Be humble. Shout it, be humble. Avoid greed. Number 11 now, right? Number 12. Avoid greed. And I think I will stop here. Oh my God, there's no time. Avoid greed. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 8 to 9. Pay your tithes. Greed is what makes you to still hold your 9% and still hold it. How many of us tithe here? Raise it up high. Flash the account there, please. Flash the account. There is nothing that preserves you like Titan. Nothing. In fact, that is the first seed for favor. If you can do it consistently, you will be able to overcome greed. We are talking this week now. There used to be a sister with us here. Every week, every month, I will be telling them, be encouraged. You know, when you are training babes, I've been calling them, pay your tithes. Pay your tithes. Listen carefully. Please reduce the echo here. Be encouraged to pay your tithes. I was always alarming it. We will do leaders meeting and will encourage them. The sister now called, called us one day and said that she feels it is time to move on. You know what happened? She got a job. She was a sales stop in the market. And got, she finished service and got a job in a bank. And her salary increased. Then she now met us and said that she wants to move on. That the responsibilities on her were much. Pastor, God does not eat your tights. You are the one who needs it. What happens is that it is made available so that the supernatural abundance in the house of God can be made available to you, to you, to you. She felt that would be a, a financial burden to her. I just, I just need that. Has God been faithful? It's been five years. People have come into the house with double of whatever she thought she was giving. Listen to me, people of God. Never, 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 ever think that God eats your money. Build the character now that you are young. That later you'll be, you'll be, you'll be consuming from an inexhaustible account. No matter how small you are receiving now. In fact, if it comes on a weekly basis, be giving it out. 200, 350. Give God his own so that your own will make sense. That's how favor comes. Can I shock you? The last meeting we had, the Easter conference, one of my brothers here, I think I shared his testimony with the workers. He was supposed to do his traditional marriage. 
They were supposed to buy Kayamata. You know what he did? Pastor? The brother gathered. I'm talking about my brother, Pastor Victor. Money he was going to use for the first visit for his marriage. Gathered it and dropped it. I've seen Fato. You need to know where he is now. You need to know God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sow it, that's what he's going to do. I, I shared with you the story of one of us here, himself and his friend. They started to take up a responsibility in the house. I told you how God has blessed them with a car and a house. God cannot fool you. Give God his own and remove your hand. There's no time I would have showed you. You say, how have we robbed God? Say, you have robbed me in tithes. As you are young, learn how to tithe early. Keeping that 10% will not even solve the problem that you are saying you are keeping it for. As he solved it, tell, tell me the truth. No, no, just tell me the truth. Just tell me. Let me just keep it so that I will have transport money. By 7th of that month, <laughs> you don't have transport again. I didn't say 14th, 7th. <laughs> Wizzy is laughing. Number, number what? Number 13. One way to pursue favor is pursue it, request it, and celebrate it. Pursue it, request it. Don't be afraid. You are a, you are a seamstress, you, you are a caterer or anything. Write letters, share your letters. You do welding, you whatever you are doing, you're a teacher. Write letters and give parents. You can do home lessons. They can they, they all they will say is say no. I, have you ever seen when somebody died because they told him no? Write it and give it to them. Request it, sir. Or demo request to be the teacher of your son. I'm going to do two hours from Monday to Thursday, or from Monday to Wednesday, and from one hour on Saturday, whatever. If this pleases you, we can make arrangement for the payment. Simple. Envelope it, give them. As they're coming to pick their children, you give it to them. Even in church, look for them. Your child is an intelligent child. We need to upgrade. Just look for English and put it there. Request favor. If you don't have favor, you have not requested it. So, there are different kinds of people. They have what you are looking for, but you must ask for it. Don't be proud. Ask that you shall do what? Seek and what knock and the doors write proposals learn how to write proposals learn how to write proposals even if you are not a caterer you have people here who are into catering go and write a proposal that you are going to supply bonds for end of the year or speech and price giving day when they give you the 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 this thing look for chester or look for who, who does catering here who can do bonds not stono bonds where is Christy? Are you getting what I'm saying? Some of these contractors, you see, they don't have idea about what they are doing. They subletted it. Where is this shaku? Am I saying the truth or not? Some of them, they will just wear, wear engineer clothes. Babu. Nothing. They are using the Nigerians. They will just, they will just use a very good letterhead. Very powerful pen. After writing the the proposal, they will use 250,000 Naira perfume. Maybe they bought it from Kate. They will not spray it and enter the office to go and submit the proposal. The moment the director perceived the, the he's, he's a rich man, he's a rich man. Meanwhile, the intention is that as they, as they allow them to do that contract, they will go and start looking for Kevin and the rest and justice. They will not be doing her like this. Request favor. 
Somebody say, I receive boldness to request favor. I receive boldness to request favor. The last but not the least. Take service serious. Take service serious. Come to service early. Do what you have to do with the whole of your might. If you are in the media, come around, sit down, do your work. Take service serious. God leads men there. God only leads his servant. He said, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And you shall serve the Lord and he will do what? Bless your bread and your water. If your bread must bless, your water must bless, you must serve. Learn how to serve. Don't sit idle. Whether you are doing it online, praying for the pastor, inviting people, is still service. Last but not the least, stay on the world. Look for knowledge. Buy books. Any information you don't have, ignorance will take hold. If you can buy books every month, please do. One thousand, one five, one seven. Buy books. Read, read, read. Stay with your Bible. We are doing a Bible plan. Not everybody is on involved in it. People are seen, but they would have asked, "Sir, how can we join?" Read your Bible. God will only go where His word is. God will only go where His word is. I say it again. God is bound by what His word can provide. Stay with your Bible. Stay. With your Bible. Is somebody ready to call those things that are not as you are going to have enough time to kabash? Lift up your in the Holy Ghost first. Hold the person by your side and it talks loud and clear. Don't whisper. Rise, rise, rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Be fast about it. Rise to your feet. Zakata barakata galaba. Zakata belekete brekete. Se brekete balaka balakata. I cannot hear you. Lift your voice and pray. When it is time to pray, pray. When it is time to give, give. Rakata belekete beleke. Zeke brekete laba. What of the Lord says, and they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. The light of the Lord has come to you. Don't keep it to yourself. Do you like to share to your loved ones just by clicking the share button below and tell us your what you feel like on the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Strike the notification bell to stay in touch with God's word on every day basis. Thank you so much.